Can y'all see me? I feel like it's dark. Hold on. Oh, see, now I got. So it is. What is it, y'all? The week before Thanksgiving. And my husband was off yesterday. He was like, So when is Thanksgiving? I said, It's the 22nd. And he's like, Oh, I'm off. I'm like, You got me sitting up here depressed? Hold on, y'all. I'm like, You got me sitting up here all sad and you off. Girl, he off. So that is good. I love this time of the year, y'all. I love fall. I just do. Um, I'm gonna eat some tea because my throat is. It's just dry. It doesn't hurt. It's dry. Um, so yes, he's off. So I already wrote my Thanksgiving dinner out. I'm really excited that he's off. We could spend time together as a family. And I guess he's in a good mood, girl, because I, I did a little twerk, a twerk session. So we... <laughs> Y'all wrong. So he's in a good mood now. So he's like, um, we can go out to eat on, on Friday or Saturday. I'm like, oh, this week. I'm like, oh, you're off? So it's very rare, rare that we go twice in a row, you know, two weeks in a row. So I said, so do you want JB, the baby, to go with us? He's like, I don't know about that. I said, yeah, we need to drop his ass off. So I will probably do a date night to get ready with me um, video. Um... I think we'll go out Saturday because JB has, yeah, we go out Saturday because he goes to school on Friday. So anyway, I got some stuff here. Let me show you what I got. It's the most wonderful time of the year. To be getting on my damn nerves, girl. And I'll be shopping. So hold on, y'all. Let me let me get my tea on. All right, y'all. Have to put my tea on. I'm going to let that sit there and seep. So yes, uh, I guess my husband is off. And it's slow at work. Oh, my titties look big. Okay, girl, get it together. Um, he's off Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, no, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then he's off next Thursday. And then myself and JB, we're off all next week. Yes, girl, so we're gonna have things going on. We're just not gonna be sitting around. Um, like I said, we're gonna go out this Saturday and JB has a craft class going on this Saturday. I'll probably do a little filming there. Um, I went to go get my own kind of hurt. I went to go get my flu shot. Last flu season was horrible. Those of you who are in the States, you know it was horrible. And I was talking to the doctor and this this dog needs to get, he's about to get these hands. This dog is still a puppy and always barking. Yeah, the doctor agreed that this flu season isn't this bad. She said that she had only five uh, positive flu people last week and up until then it had, only, it had only been one positive flu a week. Last year she's like it was horrible including a bunch of healthy people who were dying and it was mostly women. Well, not mostly. There was a lot of women who were dying. Anyway girl let's, let's not talk about that. Um, it's fall. Thanksgiving. I wrote my Thanksgiving list of what I'm making so and I'll show y'all what, what I I'm gonna be buying um what I like to do so that I'm not getting my husband running out getting some cream cheese and he coming back with some sour cream and I'm cursing and yelling I make up my list I buy everything but certain things that I know are multiple dishes I buy double or buy more for example butter eggs sugar flour I make sure that I, first of all, I already have that stuff here. I make sure that I either get double or get a larger size so that I don't run out. One Thanksgiving, I ran out of eggs and girl, I was about to lose it because I had everything going on at the same time and there's not a lot of stores that are open on Thanksgiving. Long story short, make sure that I have my list. My list is there. I'm going to look over it. I am cooking, I'm making buttermilk hens, the little small individual hens. I'm gonna do four of those so we can have leftovers. But buttermilk, they're gonna be brining and buttermilk and I'm gonna roast those. Buttermilk pie, which is a custard pie. Brown sugar toffee pound cake, yes. Making that with a caramel bourbon sauce. Um, balsamic green beans, of course dressing, butternut squash, cinnamon, brown sugar, butternut squash, you see the trend. Um, homemade cranberry sauce with bourbon 
and I am gonna be having a signature drink with bourbon. <laughs> and that, yeah, I'm not playing. Like cranberry vodka and bourbon. I'm not even playing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Did I say dressing? Yeah, dressing and some rolls. And that is it, you guys. I stopped doing the big traditional because we don't have any family here. So <clears throat> I don't do the macaroni and cheese. I don't do mashed potatoes and collard greens with pork and all. I don't do that. You know, there's so much, there's so many different types of foods out there out there. So switch it up, girl. Switch it up. So yeah, the only thing that I do that's traditional is the dressing. At least, you know, Southern black family tr traditional, I should say. Ciao. I, I, I'm gonna have to edit all that out. Let me hurry up y'all because my husband's about to work out. So this coconut milk was only a dollar, which was 50% off. So tomorrow when I go, I'm gonna go grocery shopping, officially grocery shopping in two more days, excuse me. And I will be getting about three more cans of this. And I'm gonna be making um, some coconut milk infused whatever rice. Mm, that's one of these for this. I got some Korean barbecue sauce, which I'll add to some beef for tomorrow. Again, a dollar winning. And a banana nut muffin mix. I like to keep mixes and stuff on hand, y'all, because I, I bake for my, um, not only do I bake at home for my family, but I also bake for my neighbors. Yeah, I'm that neighbor. But I also stopped by CVS and got some do not sleep on CVS or Walgreens. Any of these, like, um, what do you call them? Convenient store decorations. I purchased a lot of decorations, not a lot, but the bigger harvest fall decorations last year, it was 90% off. This year, 75% off. Let me show you what I got. Aren't these adorable? A dollar each. Isn't that adorable? So cute. Now I accidentally dropped this out and the garage, this pumpkin. I didn't know it was glass, first of all. But we're gonna turn her around like this and she's gonna sit up somewhere low so she won't break anymore. And JB won't get to it. Isn't that adorable? 75% off. It was originally um, $3, no, $4.99, this, okay. Isn't this cute? Now this really isn't with my theme because, but it's okay, it's a little light. It's okay, isn't this adorable with feathers on the top? $5.99, isn't that cute? But this is what really caught my eye. Let me let me get them all situated. This is so adorable, y'all. Hold still, hell. <laughs> isn't this adorable? these little fall fabric and the cute thing about it is that they dual as ornaments isn't that adorable um is that it all of this stuff cost me um almost 10 bucks so that's it y'all um today i'm gonna get caught up on work i'm doing just some maintenance work in the system christine and i are talking about everybody <laughs> i need to go ahead and fix my breakfast I didn't go to the gym today. I was on my way, but then I said, you know what, let me go see if I can find some jeans to wear. Um, you know, one of the things I'm gonna do next week uh, is do a lot of organ, organ sorry y'all, one of the things I'm gonna do next week is organize a lot. Like organize up in my bathrooms, just spread it out over the entire week, but not every day. So that way I feel like I'm not just sitting around. Um, one day I'll probably do the bathroom, the next day I'll do the guest bedroom, the next, the next day I'll do the uh jd's room you know one day i may just wash my car so you know just do something different every day jb and i will probably go to the park one day the, the anthem park the big train park up here but one thing i i do remember now the doc the doctor i just saw she said that the flu is going crazy up in scottsdale because of the snowbirds so when we're out on Saturday night, while we're up there, I'm gonna be very careful. I'm gonna let my husband know this too, because where we go, there's a lot of old people in that restaurant. <laughs> so girl, like, no, seriously, I have to be very careful. We all do. So y'all, I'm watching the Married to Medicine. To give you an idea of my husband's temperament, he's very much like Dr. Damon, uh, Heavenly's husband. Very quiet quiet yet deadly girl when he speaks it's something you better listen because he rarely speaks so my husband's very much like that so i'm watching the married to medicine right now and um they're talking about what happened in the previous episode and y'all i don't know honestly i'm one of the few people that likes i like both dr dr heavenly and mariah however i think they both were wrong 
I mean, let me quiet this down because Contessa's getting on my nerves. I think they both were wrong. I think that Heavenly, Dr. Heavenly was wrong in interjecting when uh, Mariah was questioning Quad. Uh, Quad doesn't need someone to come to her defense, but Mariah escalated when she broke that damn glass. Like, what the hell are you trying to do, girl? You know, you're doing that on national TV. You know, that's not cool. It's helpful. So, y'all, yeah, real quick, this is my planning. This, this is today what I'm going to do because last week I was supposed to start it, you know, focusing on my goals. This is the goals, uh, a booklet where I was started writing my goals last year which my goals span over five years but i try to get as much done of course every year i try to knock out something but this right here i know a hot mess this right here folder has a lot of planning worksheets my monthly tasks um i did purchase this gold planner for my uh 2019 planner but i don't like i don't like this so i'm, I'm gonna do something else um, another thing I purchased through Etsy was a YouTube planning worksheet. Aren't these cute? So video planning, you know, I have an area for the idea. I don't really need the script notes to do. It's like if I'm doing a hair related video, you know, gathering their products. So maybe I need to buy something. Keywords, collaboration, and promotion, which ain't no collaborations going on, y'all. I have tried to collaborate with other natural hair youtubers and some of them you guys have seen but it's very hard to get people to either agree um anyone who's come to me for collaboration i have said yes maybe not right now but eventually we will do it um so anyway enough of that some stickers here that i purchased just today from um walmart and this is my Oh my God, y'all, y'all know I just started this. Y'all know, I just started this just a couple of weeks ago and look at the madness we have going on. Yeah, this is a bit much. So I need to go ahead and organize this. So I do have a quite a bit of organization that I need to get done next week. Um, and so I have some organized uh, stickers with this is the mommy planner stickers, but I don't want to use the stickers instead I'm thinking of using these post-its Walmart sells planner accessories very affordable. This was like 88 cents. Yeah So I either want to use these post-its or I'm going to use these that I just bought um, I may end it up. I may how many do I just have one sheet? Yeah These are cute yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna do these instead. Yeah, I'm gonna do these instead, okay? So let me, I'm gonna organize that. That's, that's for next week. 2019, I went ahead a couple of vlogs ago, I showed y'all this. I went ahead and purchased some to-do accessories. Excuse me, yeah, uh, not to-do. Um, these are just blank sheets of paper. And so what I'm gonna have to do is basically configure this paper to fit this planner. I purchased this planner, planner from Walmart very affordable but because of the spiral of course this isn't going to fit so I have a hole puncher here that I will punch additional holes in and then use scissors to just slightly put those in so I think I'm gonna have these to be for my goals and these are just random notes okay um, so this is for 2019 and I've already decorated. Look how beautiful this is. Now this is a bit much. I was just playing around. This is just to see how, how crazy I could get. Um, for the month of January, I did a black and white and gold theme girl boss. Girl, a sticker just flew off. <laughs> um, some Chanel perfume. Now these are the DIY stickers I did. Even these glasses are DIY, but it matches because I this is, was part of my planner. This is from the um, 88 cent package that I got from Walmart that I incorporated in all this. But this girl boss, this is part of my DIY. The purse is also part of it. So yeah, this is a bit much. I normally wouldn't go this crazy, but um, I, I try to, I'm trying to keep it simple when it comes to the weeks itself. So like right here, I won't be putting any stickers here unless I have something that, yeah. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Look, it is officially cold in Phoenix. What in the hell is going on, y'all? Cancel, cancel. 
Uh, let me look up the weather real quick. Um, and y'all, I'm country, meaning my as soon as my as soon as JB gets up, he's still asleep. He needs to get up soon because it's six thirty, and we typically we're gonna have to leave in an hour anyway. And it's still dark outside, so let me look up the temperature. Ooh, it's cold. He's getting up, girl. Come on, baby. You okay? <laughs> baby. Is this, child, this, this is temperature for Washington, D.C. Why is this show in Washington, D.C.? I am not in Washington. Watch this. Right now it's 46 degrees. Convert that for all my, my people not in the States. 46 degrees is gonna be a high of 70. Ooh, this is the desert. Ooh, it's gonna get even colder. As we get into December, it's gonna be a high of 60. I'm ready. I'm ready. So anyway, y'all, it is Wednesday. I am going to, since my husband and I are having a date night on Saturday, I'm really going to bring up my feminine side. And that's something I was really into. Since this, since this has came into my life, I really, I'm going to own up to it. I've kind of slacked off. Meaning that now when we go out, I literally wear pants every time. Not saying there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Shady. There's nothing wrong with wearing slacks, but there's something very sexy about a woman who wears a nice, stop it baby, a nice cute dress. Yes, so I'm gonna bring up my feminine side. JV said no. I'm gonna bring up my feminine side. We're gonna take some birth control and I'm gonna be very, get my nails done all dolled up. I will say the few times that men have approached me, they, when they approached me, they mentioned that, that they like that I'm very feminine and, um, mm. Yeah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. My glasses are dirty, girl. Don't mind it. Can I, can I? I always do this shit. All right, there we go, girl. I am looking like I'm about to serve you up some hot water cornbread. <laughs> um, hold on, y'all. Y'all, foolery, foolery, foolery in these YouTube streets. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. Right now, it is the week before Thanksgiving. I am out running around. I just dropped off JB. It is payday for me too, so I'm really out running around. So, y'all, um, hold on. I'm responding. I'm responding to another, another. I'm not gonna say. Well, I'm gonna get to this in a minute. It's, it's the foolery that's going on. So right now, um, I stopped by Fry's, got some stuff, and I'll show y'all a cute purse I got that was 60% off, and I've been itching to buy me something. Look, it's cooler right now. It's like 50 degrees, and I'm like, I want some boots, but honestly, boot season here will last for two months, and then it's back up into the 70s. I mean, and the weather is really funky. Like, it'll be 40 or 50 degrees like it is right now, and then warm up to the mid-70s. Your feet are all funky and smelling like Frito. You know, you making Frito pies in your boots. <laughs> so, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna buy any more boots. Um, Cause I have a cute little sweater dress I'm gonna wear on Saturday when we're going out to eat. Cause like I said, y'all, I wanted to bring out my feminine side. So instead of getting my nails done, which will be an ongoing expense, I just went ahead and got a little purse. You know, $9 and a dress. <laughs> my budget was 30 so the dress and the purse was 30 together anyway y'all these YouTube streets why do we continue to glorify ratchet behavior and I know that it can be entertaining but for me at this point in my life I can only take I can only take ratchet behavior in dosages I can't do like like for example even when um, the T.S. Madison BS, I stopped watching that shit a long time ago. I stopped watching it when Kia got off the show. And so whatever is going on right now, I don't know. Um, I'll hear about stuff. And for me, it's almost like background noise. I don't have enough. There's nothing in me at this point in my life to go and research it more. Unless it's someone I was already interested. So, get to the point, girl. And I'm going to name drop because that's just... I am. Um, a couple of weeks ago, actually it's been a couple of months ago, I told y'all about a new younger vlogger that I was into. Her name is Strong Mommy Chrissy. And I watch her videos off and on. There are certain things I do side eye, but I just chalk that up to um, age. You know, she's young. I think she's 28, 28, 29. And that is young. You have a lot of growing to do. Real talk. We're still growing in our 30s and damn near 40s. We're still growing. If you are at that stage in your point, 
it, it is what it is. Um, there is a level of maturity that you hit after 35 and life experiences. Now, there, that doesn't go for everyone. That could be an almost blanket statement. There are absolutely some 20 year olds <laughs> that are mature, uh, mature, but most people under the age of 30 are not that. So again, there's some things that I saw. I um, she have a, she has a lot of kids. <laughs> she has eight kids, and she's currently pregnant with her next child. Now there is another young lady I also started following. Um, living with the Webs. Her name is Olivia Webs. Web. And again, ratchet behavior, side eye, but I I enjoy them, you know. And quiet as it kept. I don't. If you really don't like someone. You don't have to watch them. I always tell you guys that. So I don't comment, you know, on the videos. I just watch for entertainment purposes. And there are some things that I do like about both young ladies. Um, so both Strong Mind Chrissy and Olivia Webb with Living With The Webbs have been going back and forth. So, you know, there's accusations of, of them, you know, copying each other content, yada, yada, yada. And it's just petty beef and it's i'm like this is the thing y'all youtube is way too big of a platform for us to shoot out you know this person's copying other people there is so much there's so many people doing the same shit on here like i remember a couple of um vlogs ago i can't remember no a couple of videos ago i can't remember what recipe i shared and someone wrote this is Kim A. Tubes leave in. You need to give her props. And I wrote them back and said, this actually isn't Kim A. Tubes re uh, recipe. However, I wouldn't be surprised if someone else has a similar recipe or a similar video. There are, way there, there are thousands of people on here. And so I wrote, and as a fellow YouTuber, you have to be very careful, at least in my opinion, if you want to keep the peace, girl, on your channel. Very careful and mindful when you go on someone else's channel and say something. I edit my comments because I always want something to come from a place of light and love. When I give constructive, constructive criticism, it's never with any ill intentions. I'm not like that. Y'all know that. Or sometimes I may make a comment and a very a very lighthearted comment when I don't dis, when I don't agree with something like I've done plenty of times on Funky Don't Even. So I figured, you know, I can take the heat if I can handle Quentin's subscribers, aka Funky Don't Even, I can handle her, you know. So I wrote on her video. She had two videos that she posted. Now the big videos were basically targeting this young woman, the other girl, Olivia. Um, she was showing proof that she is pregnant. So I wrote her back and said, you know what? I've been watching both of you guys for quite a minute. I'm a lurker. Um, but I have been following you for, you know, a minute. So I'm not no new subby on here. Just giving my two cents, basically. Um, but both of you guys have potential. Again, YouTube is big enough for everybody to be successful. However, you put too much energy into negativity, basically. You get, you receive what you put out there. So change your focus. And I also said in the same comment, I don't understand why we as, as a society continue to glorify ratchet behavior. Move on. That comment got like, in, in like a, a, a few hours, it got close to 100 likes <clears throat> and a couple of comments. So far it had been good, but she since has now taken down both the videos. Y'all, we have got to stop glorifying negative behavior i really do feel like i feel like a lot of these young women don't have that guidance they don't have the older cousin they don't have the um elders in their community to go to for that support and maybe they have had people to come to them and say hey you screwing up and they have ignored it but i find a lot of this a lot of the times that these young women don't have that guidance and there are so many women out there that you have a girl that's having multiple kids and she's not even 30 years old and now she's about to have her ninth baby she look she can have as many kids as she wants she's married her husband unfortunately is cheating on her so now you potentially are putting yourself in a situation to where you may be a single mom of nine kids that is just so sad so i really do wish that they had someone that they could reach out to to help them because it seems to me that youtube has become their journal for their life if that's what you want to do by all means but be prepared for people to respond accordingly and that's what we're seeing right now so anyway y'all enough of that y'all let me go in here what am i gonna get here some almond milk girl because i oh y'all i actually had some milk two days ago no yesterday i had milk and when i tell you my stomach has been on some 
Like, yeah, I'm in my closet. Oh, my camera quality is fabulous. Finally, finally got the settings doing what I'm supposed to do, y'all. Let me show you what I've been, what I've bought. I have bought so much stuff today. Like, literally, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. But, yeah, no more shopping. It's really bad when you do all your shopping in one day. Because you, you got two weeks to the next pay period. But it's okay. I'm good. I'm okay. So, let me show y'all. Um, Hold on. Let me put this purse right here. All right, so I purchased this. I've been eyeing a certain makeup. Now, technically, um, I already have these colors, but it's just great to have, to have everything in one. This is by Wet n Wild. Isn't this beautiful? And it is called, um, I think it's like Candy or something. What is it called? I don't remember. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't remember. But this is one of their new new formulas, new look. I got some more. This is my favorite mascara, falsies. Um, I'm going to show you what this This is, in, is new. Got me some more bras, y'all. Because seriously, those of you don't know, I had a breast reduction in May. I went from like a triple D, double E, to a full C, small D. Um, and I haven't been wearing bras. I've been wearing sports bras. And girl... Now that my titties are getting some hangage, girl, I, I was feeling like, um, we fall down, but we get up. Yeah, my titties need to get back up. So, I, <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'm sorry, so inappropriate. Um, this is so random and cute. I got this shirt that says Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. What the hell is that? Hold on, y'all. A piece of hair but it has a cape on the back so I figured and look it was only 99 99 cents for Walmart on clearance I figured that one day JB and I can play dress up I play with my child and he has a cape and we can play dress up one day so I'll put this somewhere um I got a purse from fries I know fries of all places <sighs> probably should have had it down already and y'all I have a lot of purses um about five down there some down here but most of my purses go up along i don't really have a lot i think i have about 30 purses which we used to be at but isn't this look at this you know how much i paid for this look at that great purse great nine bucks on clearance for nine dollars today only i said oh yes let me go ahead and put that put that in a buggy jb jb was with me um this is the dress let me back up some this is the dress i got from Ross the other day I thought it was very very cute very romantic has these bows on the side give it a very romantic feminine touch and it's a sweater dress I'm short y'all so it goes almost to my knees actually a little below my knees and I figured see this makeup palette see I have a good eye isn't that beautiful really really nice this is gonna be my makeup and then I figured I could do these earrings and I'll do that purse this kind of cold gray purse. See, this gray on the pink, you can see bits of pink on this gray purse, right? And then I'll do these brown. I was thinking about the black, but no. Stand neutral, these brown boots. Yes. All right, y'all, we're gonna go pick up JB. You guys, look what came in. This is this is a, I always give myself a Christmas gift. Give me my, give me my toy. Look what came it's in for me. Toy. It is my toy. Look at this, y'all. Mm. Is this preseason? It is seasoned, but I'm gonna put some oil in it. Seasoned meaning that there's oil all in it. 100 years. Look at that. Oh my God, y'all. This makes this. This is how they used to cook back in the day. Okay, this cookware lasts forever. 100 years. Um, you can bake in these. You can stove top cook in these. You can, meaning you can actually bake a cake in one of it these. Says Japanese. But it's great for, for cooking um, Mama, stews and soups. Mama, that's Japanese. Yeah, that's Japanese, boo boo. How do you do? You you read Japanese, JB? Y'all, JB, do you want to tell them about something that happened to you recently? Oh my God, y'all! I didn't even tell y'all earlier. Why don't you let them know? Oh my God, y'all, you hear him, poor baby. So yesterday he was playing with his Legos and all of a sudden I hear some wailing and crying. And it, it, you know your child's different cries. It was a, my feelings are hurt cry. I'm like, what is wrong? He's like, my teeth, my tooth is loose. So he has his first loose tooth. Can y'all believe that? So we, we just so happen to have a dentist appointment next week. I'm gonna have them check on it, but he's gonna be losing a tooth soon. It's at the bottom. 
Yeah, that one. <laughs> so sweet. Why were you crying, baby? Why were you crying? You thought you thought you did something wrong. No. Were you afraid? Yeah. No. I'm letting his hair grow out. If y'all can't tell by now, and I've been cutting it myself. I'm getting better, girl. You know, well, you all up in my camera. Get off, get off my Dutch oven. You can fall asleep in one more hour. Why do I have to be so extra? You know, I could have just had a bowl of ice cream or just some brownies, but no. I gotta make fudge brownies, put fudge underneath, put ice cream on top, put caramel on sauce, and then put toffee bit. Why? Look at this. Look at that. Oh my God, why do, I, why do I do this to myself? I'm going to the gym in the morning.